guys I went ahead and fixed that error and uh, the app is now up and running and if everything everything is working nice for you you're going to have something like this okay so uh, how do you fix it is not like probably you're not going to have it it's not something that's going to happen but if it happens you just have to come to the Android directory and open the app and then open the build Gradle and then you have to pass this code implementation com dot android dot support column support okay I'll try to leave this somewhere you guys can access uh, with no problem and I'm, I'm sorry for the background noise but okay anyhow just let us give a small retreat retreat retweak re re oh sorry <laughs> let me give a small retweak on the app on the look of the login page actually and uh, we are going to do just basic stuff like just add a styling there and just make it oh, sorry text style and we're going to give this color colors dot I'm going to give this a red with shade 900 which is this darker red I like it elevation I'll give it 5.1 and uh, let us give a small background color to this red button color colors dot red dot shade 900 and um what else let us change the color of the text so it doesn't be doesn't come black oops um style then you're going to add the text style colors Okay, color then colors dot white. Okay, a small refresh here, and we have something like this. Um, okay, we didn't have time to work very much on the UI, but anyhow, let us go to the moment of truth. Pressing here, you click on this this wasn't supposed to be here and we have an error here let us see what the problem is and how can we fix this and I'll try to put this on a better place but anyhow um, platform exception sign in failed okay okay Google services out of date requires but found okay uh, this problem if you're running on a real device is not going to happen but since this is not a real device we have it how to fix this we just need to update our Google services and uh, we have different ways of doing that you can come here to your simulator and uh, this is what needs to be updated let us press in here and go first of all here to your google play services it's going to take a while loading and here is where you have to update so when you're running this on a simulator and you encounter this problem you see that's the problem we are using the version 11 and it requires 12 just click update okay it may take a while just come here and hit update and it's going to start downloading this 
so you better do this even before you run the app i was supposed to do it but whatever man uh after this update everything will work just fine and as i said the problem of writing a lot of code and then having to test at once is that most of the times you will end up having uh, multiple errors but that that's not an issue let's give a center here instead of that container only and here let's give a container and uh, for the alignment of this container we can give alignment dot center and finally we're going to put here the color I can put here dot nine okay and let us run the app and this time I'm positive that everything is going to work fine but if you're running this on a real device you're not going to have that problem probably but for the emulators most of the time you have that you just have to update your google play services and it's all you have to do okay it may take a while to have everything running to have everything up and running Okay, let's hit the login and see what happens. And here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. It is up and running. Uh, let me just do a small. Oops, oops. I may need to press outside the app. I was trying I am trying to do a small screenshot so I will use this image as a thumbnail I'm sorry for having to do that on the video but you know, you know. just a second and it's done okay I'm sorry for that now you have to you will pick your Google account and it's processing and processing and we are in ladies and gentlemen your Google sign in it's working we should be happy it took us a lot of time to make this work but thank God it's working now let us go and give a look on our Firebase and see how things are. Oops, oops. If I reload the page on our Firebase, this is what is going to happen. So I have to click on uh, authentication. Mm -hmm. man, I don't know what's happening today, but I just logged into the wrong Firebase account. The one I need is here. Database. And as you can see, we have here users, and we have the details of the user, like the username, the ID, and everything. It's working perfectly. And if you go over here, authentication. Oh, there's a small thing you need to do in order to make this work. You have to come. You have to. Um, sign-in method you have to enable this the Google 
and the password I should have told you this at the beginning of the video but okay I'll leave a note but anyhow uh, thank you guys very much for watching from the next video onwards we will start working with the posts okay this was a very long video and I'm going to divide this into different parts to be able to upload it uh, thank you for being part of the team and see you on the next one bye